so this is the hidden village in Rika. It has a somewhat mysterious atmosphere. Ah, uh, and we're here. I did not think Michaela would seriously try and kill me, but... I knew there are dark elves in the forest, but something feels strange. Wait, are there angels living here too? Wait, I feel angels here. Not just fallen angels, but pure ones? No doubt. There are angels and fallen angels alike here. Hidden Village is a good name for this place. I knew the fallen angels were hiding in this village since they had nowhere else to go. Why are normal angels here? Okay, we need to look for Michaela. I wonder if we could ask one of the villagers. This is the Hen Elf Village, Enrique. Outsiders aren't welcome here. I suggest you leave. Everyone's so rude once you first get here. We reserve the right to refuse service to those we don't know. My apologies, we don't trust you enough to stay here. But how you make any money? Wouldn't the people you know staying here just have a house or something? It's bad business is what it is. Don't cause any trouble here. What? What? I'm not causing any trouble to any humans. Not here you're not. Oh my. To think a customer would come to this inn. How unusual. How many years has it been since a human came here? You won't be able to stay the night, though. Not when we don't know who you are. Well, I'll take my business card. <laughs> We come here to play too! It's quiet and there's plenty of flowers and grass! I should come here to play from time to time too! It's a good environment. Can I plant myself here? <clears throat> this village... This... This hidden village accepted even outcasts like us, so please leave us in peace. It's not like we came here to wreak havoc. This village feels like it could repel an entire army of orcs. Indeed it could. Playing hide and seek. Don't get close to me or I'll be found. I'll play hide and seek too. Okay. I'll play hide and seek with you too. Okay. I'll hide too. Okay. Woof, woof. Let's play it together. That's okay, but don't bark. We'll be found. Found a mirror number seven. Nothing special, huh? <clears throat> uh, I've got something to do. No, it has nothing to do with you travelers. <laughs> nice dodge. Welcome to the Hymn Village, Enrique. Michaela's home? You can see it south of here. Thank you for pointing it out, but why are you angels here? What are you angels doing in a place like this? Are you shirking your duties? Heaven vanished during the Great Disaster 30 years ago. All that's left are several of us who happen to be on a mission to the surface. Me who are left behind received Michaela's protection, and the secret village has been supporting us ever since. Heaven vanished! 
so it was swallowed up in the huge Tartarus Rift after all? Are you an angel left behind on the surface world as well? I'm just a passing lily angel, so please don't tell Michaela about me. He's been extremely modest since I got... <laughs> The Elven Magic Blacksmith imbues elemental power into equipment. Weapons here exert additional power upon enemies weak to that element. We don't deal with strangers, though. There's no point in asking. Terrible business model. Ooh, Enrica Hat. I don't sell strangers, sorry. Please don't look. Boo. Looks tasty. Moo. Looks tasty. Yay! I wanna squeeze out some milk! I want to squeeze out some milk. <laughs> what, what are you looking at? I bought these doggy slippers so my heels won't hurt anymore. I gave her pet food and dog slippers. My race is easily won over with simple food, clothing, and shelter. But those paw pattern slippers sure are cute! <laughs> it appears that you have business with Michaela. Unfortunately, you won't be able to meet with her. Where did Fina hide, I wonder? I'm good at hiding too! Search complete. Location? Behind the tree to the north. This feels like cheating. This is Michaela's residence. At the moment she's... well, please come in for details. It's nothing, huh? Nothing. Nothing. <clears throat> now I'm telling Sake. Huh? What is it? You want to be here? Alright then. The bed's 150G. If you win, I'll give you an accessory suit for bows and arrows. A BF match? Sure, we can skip it. You didn't finish. I lost. We got a merge from the BF Victorious. Alright, you win the prize. You can always use bows and arrow skills with this. I'll get my revenge, so come back again. I'll make sure you finish next time. Alright. Means we get our next BFR. I will come with you. Let her join. Let's do our best together, okay? Alright. I guess it is P Hot. Wait, no. So, really, it should be a mirror that goes, but we need a mirror here soon, so we'll hold on to her for a bit. Other than that. It is Stella that goes. Alright, she's level 12. Not bad. Hunter and an elf. A D! 
decent companion. Alright, gonna beat her. I don't loot this later anyway, we'll have to come back later. <laughs> Travelers, please don't tell others about this village. Yeah, uh, the silent treatment, eh? Alright, fine. Fine. I'm on with Dongo. Meow, meow, meow. So you're waiting for your master? How admirable, pal! Eek, it's a cat! Welcome to Enrica, the Hidden Village. Please don't cause any trouble while you're here. I came to meet Michaela. This village is mine! Never mind. This village is mine! Oink! Now you're talking my language! Cool off, idiot! I come to meet with someone named Michaela. It's difficult for us to explain, but she was introduced to us in a letter. To meet Michaela? It can't be. If you're Luca. Oh, please say you're not. I'm Luca, I'm not. Don't answer. As I thought, you are Luca, aren't you? Tears appear in the elf's eyes. I fail to understand. What does Luca coming out to do with anything? Why? What in the world could Luca have done? I'm sorry. Let me start from the beginning. This is all related to Michaela's last will. The last will? And this Michaela person is already... Well, the story dates back to half a month ago. Michaela, who governed over this village, said this to me. I'll be leaving this village for a while. There are some people out there and need to stop no matter what. Then she added, If a boy named Luca comes looking for me, it means I have lost my life. The moment Luca appears here will mean Michaela's dead? But how could Michaela? Luca's coming here means Michaela is dead? How does that make any sense? And so Michaela left the village. We've heard no news of her for the last two weeks. And now today, Luca appears here. This is too much. That's quite the ominous prophecy, but does it really mean that Michaela is dead? No. Considering what's at stake, I can't simply accept that Michaela is gone. I have to believe she's still alive. She also told me that you're related to her and I should do everything in my power to assist you. We're related? I have more family members? Yeah, uh, yeah, the uh, Alistair, you don't know that Michaela's your aunt. <laughs> it appears you had no idea, but it seems like your father knew it. Yes, Michaela would be something like Luca's aunt. We shall aid you as best we can. Please accept these. I shall inform the other villagers to help you. Although, they have to make a living too, and won't be able to give you everything for free. No, that's alright. Thank you very much. What do we do now, though? Kayla was our best lead, and we weren't able to meet with her. We've been to both Taurus Rifts and the Ilias Continent. The remaining ones require us to travel north to Centora. To get to Centaur, we'll need to go to Ilias Port. From there, we can take a ship north. Uh, a uh, ship, huh? Ships and I don't really get along. You'll be 
fine. I'll be with you. You're heading to Centora? Please be careful. That whole area is on the edge of a huge conflict. Yeah, the four major countries there are at war, right? I've heard news of it even at Ilias Temple. No, that's not the problem. Humans might not be aware of it, but there's a power struggle among monsters as well. The monster power struggle? Well, I suppose that's not surprising given the current state of the monster lord. The power struggle? I need to know what's going on there. There are three monster lords vying for power right now, which has seriously shaken the balance of power between monsters. What? Two idiots are making plays for my throne on weekend? So the Kara monster lord lost her power and now two more are claiming to the title. <laughs> yes, fight! Destroy each other! Actually, there are three new monster lords. I wasn't including Alfie's the 16th. They're acting like she abdicated. I can picture her chicken. <laughs> what? They've already assuming I'm abdicated? Now that Alfie's the 16th has disappeared, the leader of the monster lord's army is the previous monster lord. Alphys the 15th, Alice's mother, who should be dead. What? What kind of joke is that? Mother is long since dead. Well, technically in this world she only went missing. And the uh, throne could only be vacant for a year. So, you declared her dead. But she went to investigate the Tara Strip, probably the one right there in Helgondo. And disappeared. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume that that rift in Helgondo is what leads to the monster world. This is ridiculous! She must be a fake pretending to be my mother! That feast of 15th? That's the current monster lord's mother! She should already be dead! There's no way for the dead to come back from the afterlife. Does one reanimate her corpse? Maybe she's a fake. Well, in the original, her corpse was reanimated. The Monster Lord's army should have many of the 15's former subordinates. Do you think they'd really be fooled by an imposter? In any case, the forces of the 16th were taken over by a 15th Monster Lord, who claims to be the rightful successor to the throne. There's no way I'd accept that. No matter what anyone says, she's just a fake pretending to be my mother. Nope, she is your mama. She is back from the Taurus Rift. <laughs> what on earth is going on? The 15th should be dead. So why is she once again leading the Monster Lord's army? Besides her, who are the other two Monster Lords? It'd be amusing if they were weaklings, but troubling if they are powerful. So besides her, who are the other two monster lords? I bet they're no good pretenders, aren't they? One of the two remaining monster lords is a petite Yoma who calls herself Black Alice. Black Alice? That was Alfie's the ace nickname. So Black Alice is finally making her move. She must intend to seize this opportunity for her ambitions. Supposedly destroyed by the hero Heinrich, even among monster lords, her ability was said to be top-notch. Black Alice attracted Yoma, who stood in opposition to the monster lord's peaceful policies. As a result, many of the aggressive and fiendish Yoma have affiliated themselves with her. They still have an inner direct conflict with Alphys the 15th, but it's only a matter of time. So she's either a fake pretending to be a monster lord from the legends, or she's really Black Alice. In another case, no powerful monster would follow her if she were weak. The fact that Black Alice gathered such force is proof of her strength. I don't know who she is, but I doubt she's a fraud. I thought she might act with me not watching her. 
But all things considered, she didn't wait long to make her move. So Black Alice is trying to retake her place as Monster Lord. And there's a third monster vying to become Monster Lord too, right? The villain pretending to be my mother, a legendary Monster Lord. You said there's a third Monster Lord, right? The third Monster Lord is... A girl calling herself Alphys the 17th. Alphys the 17th? Now they're acting like I'm dead too? No way! The 17th? The current Monster Lord doesn't have any heir I know of! Oh, uh, so you could miss some, potentially? Mm -hmm. That bodes well for my theory. <laughs> so who is the 17th? What forces does she lead? She has no subordinates and leads no one. She claims to be a monster lord all by herself. What's with that? She's just a self-proclaimed monster lord then. Do the others not even think she's worth getting rid of? On the contrary, they're afraid of her the most. Even though she doesn't have any help, her own power is unbelievable. In Lane's village, Alphys the 17th fought off the Nereid family's head, Cassandra. That's got everyone that got everyone's attention. Immediately after that, she appeared in Plansect Village and defeated everyone in there by herself. She forced both the insects and the plants to surrender, then took control of the area. She defeated everyone? Do you know how many monsters live in that village? It's more than just a few hundred! She defeated everyone? Isn't the population of that village measured in the thousands? There should also be powerful leaders like the Queen Bee and Priestess there. You're telling me she annihilated them all? Alone? Queen Bee and Priestess elites both insect and plant factions. She defeated all of them? Alone? The next place she appeared was a small village in Nora Centora. It was occupied by Arachne forces, but... The Arachne clan led by Spider Princess, right? So while I'm not there, they're doing whatever they damn please. The Arachne clan? The scum led by the Spire Princess, a part of the belligerent faction, have always opposed coexistence with humans. Even they were crushed as soon as Alphys the Seventeenth showed up. She drove them out of the village and forced them into a remote cave. The Arachne are all battle-crazy veterans. Even I would have had a hard time defeating them alone. After that, the 17th appeared all over, as if going around to defeat strong monsters on a whim. Not on a whim, she had a checklist of who needed beaten. <clears throat> What's really strange is in all of the chaos, there was not a single death. The queens attacked by the 17th were all forced to remain within narrow territories. After that, she picked a fight with the Swordswoman Granberia. Five hours later, they are still evenly matched as they repeatedly attacked and defended themselves, neither able to secure the upper hand. Equal to Granberia, a heavenly knight class, then? Well, she's quite strong, I suppose. Well, of course she couldn't beat Granberia. Still, she must be strong to force her into a draw. Yes, her fight with Granberia ended in a draw. Not surprising considering how tired she must have been by then. Tired? What do you mean? All this happened in a single day. Starting with the defeat of Cassandra to the duel with Granberia. What? One day? She did all that in just one day? She did everything in just a day? That's insane for a mere mortal! Moreover, when she tied with Grand Barrier, the 17th said, I can't, uh, I still can't afford to show my true power. Do you understand now why the 17th is more feared than the others? Even alone, her fighting abilities are without doubt beyond that of the 15th or Black Alice. <laughs> Amazing! I can't believe there's a 
monster that powerful? She's quite the force to be reckoned with. Just who in the world is she? Three monster lords fighting against one there. The 18th, the 15th, and the 17th. I feel like I've been forgotten completely. Three monster lords fighting against one there. The 8th, the 15th, and the 17th. I can never have imagined this happening. Gazilius, were you amused just a moment ago? That's why I thought they were three weaklings fighting over scraps. The actual situation is much more worrisome. Given all that, take care when you're in Centora. Conflict between the three monster lords is heating up. As the gods of mankind, I cannot overlook this. It appears I shall have to deal with them permanently. As the current monster lord, I can't ignore this. It seems like we'll have even more to do in Centora. Feels like the only thing that's increasing is the amount of stuff we need to do. I haven't resolved anything yet. I get the feeling that all of this is connected by a single thread, though. The Great Disaster, Taurus, your father, three Monster Lords, all of them. That's why we can't stop here. Let's take a ship to across to Centora! To do that, our next destination is Iliusport, the town north of Iliusburg. We're in too deep to quit now! I'm in this to the end! I'll do my best to you! Aside from when I'm on a ship. Rawr! I'm burning up! Q Q Q. Well then, we're heading to Ilias Port. I wish you luck in battle. If you learn anything about Michaela, please come tell me. Michaela's disappearance. I refuse to believe that Michaela's truly dead. She'll come back eventually, I just know it. If you learn anything about Michaela, please come tell me. I feel like you're bound to cross paths with her eventually. We will, and you're not going to like it. <laughs> um, I have a request. Could you please come to the arm shop? I wonder what this is about. Let's go take a look. First things first. Alright, let's go get this quest real quick. I'm grateful for your coming all the way here. I'm responsible for preparing medicines in this village, but... When Michaela gone missing, many of our residents left to look for information outside the village. Because of that, we don't have enough people around to gather necessary materials. That's where you come in. Well, I know it's wrong to ask this of Michaela's relative. It's difficult for people who aren't used to traveling to get what we need. Specifically, we need a healing shell that can be found at Le Musse Beach, south of here. Would you go there and look for or want for us? In return, I'll give you some of the mess since I make. Yeah. Thank you very much! Once again, healing shells can be found at Le Musse Beach. Le Musse Beach is south of here. However, you need to enter the Lost Woods first. Once you exit the little lost woods to the southwest, you'll see La Musu Beach. Alright. Alright, nothing else until then. So you're Michaela's relative, right? Let's get down to business then. What we got? However, you need to procure materials such as elemental stones on your own. In the past, such magic stones could be found around Rostrum. Yep, we can get them. <clears throat> this village houses elves and dark elves, angels and fallen angels. People like us. None of us have a place to go, but Michaela gave us a warm welcome. 
but for our benefactor to suffer such a fate. Uh, I've got something to do. I mean, uh, I've got to do something. Earth birds and animals are filthy. Or so I thought. But now I love a cup of milk in the morning. Actual milk, I mean. Not a euphemism for anything. If I meant that, I'd end up becoming a... If I meant that, I'd end up becoming a fallen angel. Not good. Must suppress my desires. Why don't you give it a taste? Come on, give in. Well, listen to you, Angel. I'm trembling with anger. Oh my, you look just like Ilias. Are you cosplaying? I think three monster lords would compete for supremacy. I wonder what's going to happen to this world. <laughs> Oink! It's an arc raid! Come on, give me all the food you got! This hidden village has many strong people living in it. Take care we could take on a large country, you know. You will have my deepest apologies. Can I help you with some field work? Not long ago, I would have preferred dying over being covered in dirt from farm work. But now I feel like I have a purpose in life. I hope I can live peacefully like this forever. An angel all covered in dirt doing farm work? Oh, I'm getting a headache. After you pick some delicious vegetables, offer them to me. I shall forgive your sins if you do. Diggy dig. Diggy diggy. Diggy dig. I'll purify you of holy thunder for tearing up our fields. Angels sure are dangerous. <clears throat> to us, everyone in this village is precious family. Our racial differences are irrelevant. Differences in race are very relevant. Our predecessors put a lot of blood and sweat into creating proper taxonomies. That's not what she meant. <clears throat> I wonder where Michaela went. Considering who she is, she should be fine, but I'm still worried. This hidden village accepted even outcasts like us. It's a very nice place. I wonder if they would accept me as well. Probably. This village accepts everyone who wishes to live in peace. Due to certain circumstances, I am an outcast too. No longer able to enter my home village. We vampires can always rely on our blood-sucking skills. They become even more powerful when we're equipped with things. Daggers are the best choice if you're looking for diversity in your skill use. But if you're mostly using blood-sucking attacks, you should equip things. I see! Still, I'm a merchant, so equipping myself an abacus is also an option. A dagger, fangs, or an abacus. Consider my role in your strategy before deciding on equipment. I've heard you are Michaela's blood relative. You're more than welcome in that case. It's 3G per night. Will you be staying with us? No. grateful to you. 
will lend you your strength. We are grateful to you. We'll lend you our strength if you find yourself in trouble. Uh, I want to do it so badly. You there, stay around any longer and I'm going to jump you. <laughs> there are fallen ones here as well. Fallen angels should all perish. Still, my current power is lacking, so I will be back for you. <laughs> dark elves are elves who accumulate too much dark energy. There are various cases for that, but it's mostly because we drowned our, in our own greed. In my case, I bad touched so many men that I turned dark. But now I'm trying to reintegrate myself into society as a healthy adult elf. There's no need to do that. Let's embrace being to the dark elves that we are. Dark elves have been shunned by elven society. I don't really mind them though. Huh, so there are elves like that too. You might be shunned as an outcast in your home village for saying that. Then let them let them be shunned because the uh, home village are a bunch of buttholes. Then. I never thought I'd see the day where an angel and a fallen angel could live under the same roof. Although now that all angels have fallen to earth, the distinction might be meaningless. An angel's body is composed of highly concentrated holy energy. Thus, we couldn't be touched by those on earth. However, after the great disaster, the amount of holy energy in the air increased all at once. With that, the substances on earth have become capable of coming into contact with our bodies. All angels have fallen on earth and lost their volatility. That is our present reality. Yep. Which is why you can attack them now. There are more things I want to stay on earth compared to heaven anyway. This isn't a problem for me at all. We happened to be on earth for a mission by pure chance when the great disaster struck. Hence, we were not caught up in Heaven's disappearance. However, many of our comrades in Heaven. And Goddess Ilias. Uh, Raise your head. The Goddess of Creation Ilias is right here. Oh my, you sure are alike. So you dressed yourself up just to comfort me? What? No! I'm the real Goddess! Eden, the cherubs, and everyone else who has always stayed in heaven. Ah, it's so heartrending. Promise time, you're smiling. The fact it shows on your face so plainly means you haven't become so devious yet. Alright. 